Hey, what's up all my Pisces? You have reached my channel, Warrior Revelations, and I am BJ Warrior Art, you guys. So we are coming to you guys today with a Toxic Tuesday reading, okay? So this is for anybody with Pisces placements in their chart. I'll tell everybody tarot card readings are like advice. You can take it or you leave it. Either way, that's fine with me. May not be a message for you, but it's definitely a message for somebody, okay? So any cards that I use, any information about personal readings is going to be listed in the description box below, okay? All right, Pisces. Now that we got that out of the way, let's see what y'all got going on. We're not pulling on any specific toxic situation. We're just going to pull <sighs> what toxic energies are in your energy that needs to be released. Aries. Ooh. Are you guys cuspers? I am. So maybe anger, Mars energy, sun, spirit. I'm also picking up Scorpio energy with Aries being number the number 13. You have Gemini, I think. I honestly think, as a matter of fact, I know that that is the only time I've done your, uh, your reading number 11. So I've done this reading and that is the first time that it has ha came out. Gemini, I think. It came out in the air signs, but not physically. Then you have Libra. I balance. It's a lot of air energy with Gemini, Libra. Then you have moon at the bottom, soul. So somebody's sun, their moon, or their Mars could be in Gemini, Libra, Leo, Aries, or of course, Pisces. What y'all got going on over here, Pisces? I'm getting a selfish energy. I don't know if it's you or somebody else. I'm also picking up Capricorn energy here at the number 15. And High Priestess. Yeah, too. Okay, let's see what's going on. Aries. Self-forgiveness. That's the first time that has been out today. Effort. I do believe that Capricorn got this. Or Sagittarius. Don't get me lying. Gemini. Fairness. Give me one more for Libra. Oh, two. Okay, you have freedom. And then present moment. So actually living in the moment. So definitely a spiritual ascension here with this eagle energy. And then you have criticism here. We're going to use the past life oracle to get one more royal oracles. Okay, so I feel like you guys are being recognized, too. With this sun here, spirit, effort. Some of you guys, the sun could be in your first house. But what's hidden? So Capricorn definitely got this energy. Um, what is hidden will be revealed. So you might have Capricorn placements in your chart. What's Aries? I am self-forgiveness. Native American. That's the first time that card came out today. And we have the arts. Celtic. Give me one more. Leaving or traveling. And then baby. Okay, so. I feel like you guys do something. 
in the future, at that moment, you feel like it's the green, it's the green light, it's, it's the go button. I feel the same way, I'll clarify it, but I feel like you guys are mad at yourself or you're mad at a certain tradition. When I'm looking at this Native American energy, I'm getting tradition. So you're maybe you're mad at either how something was supposed to go or maybe you thought things were going to go a certain way. Like, I am going to do this. I'm going to change. I'm going to make sure. Like, I'm going to break this generational curse. And maybe you're thinking that it's not going the right way. But I don't think it's not necessarily going the right way. Maybe it's just not going the way that you thought it was going to go. What is this? Exactly. The Eight of Wands in reverse. It's not going bad. It's just not going the way that you wanted it to go. So that's why you're kind of like upset, upset at yourself. What do we have here? We have Justice, Moon. Justice is in reverse. And then you have the Moon. And then the Six of Cups in reverse. You guys are, so the mask will come off because you have the six and the ace here, both in reverse. That's seven of cups energy. So I do feel like you, you won't be confused because you're going to see. Again, the moon is here twice. Um, so what is hidden will be revealed. If you can't figure out why spirit has pushed you into this direction or why have you come to this place and you don't know where to go, you will soon know where to go. Why is Native American so significant? Four of Wands, yeah, tradition, home, family. I feel like there's something about your home life, your family life, or something that has changed. It could have something to do with the Aries. Ace of Pentacles is here in reverse. I feel like you need to give it time. Sometimes you guys can be impatient. Then you have the Nine of Cups is in reverse. It's coming how you... It's coming exactly the way you asked for. It's just not coming in the way that you thought it was going to come. We have the at three of wands. So the next three days, three weeks, 30 days, honey. And then you have the hermit. So literally by the end of Virgo season. Oh, that might be like now or the next couple of days, three days. And then you have the five of coins. Whew. I feel like it's a lot of light being shed. So be get ready. I'm hearing that temptation signs. Get ready. Cause here I come. So cause they come and what's give me one more for the hermit. The seven of swords in reverse. Ooh. Nine of Swords. So get ready because here I come. You're not going to see me coming to a Swords energy because that's nine minus seven is two. You're not going to see something coming. I, I feel like people are surrendering. Surrendering to you. They have no choice. Give me one more. Queen of Swords here in reverse. Maybe because you cut them off or you're not talking to them. <laughs> I feel like you've been trying to <laughs> cleanse your own toxic energy, Pisces. Okay, I'm not mad at that, honey. So you're not talking to them or what? What's happening? The page of coins. Yeah, I feel like you're, you're only giving them bits and pieces. You're not giving them a lot. I feel like that person knows that too. And you have the... Um, Four of Cups here in reverse. They know that you're not interested. They know that you really don't want to have anything to do with them. But you're still making like a tea bit of effort. Speaking of effort, let's move on. What's effort, son? And the arts. Five of Swords. The Strength card. I feel like some of you guys need to be writing. Temperance card. Sagittarius energy. Because I really definitely feel like that will help you guys. Yes, judgment, speaking, writing, something out loud, 
So even music, right? Because the arts is here that looks like a guitar and a piano. So there's something that you need to do. You need to put more effort in because you wouldn't even feel as bad or you wouldn't, your mom wouldn't be racing so much if you focus on your art. Especially if you are creative. Um, I'm hearing, I think that's a channel. Um, on YouTube, the, the Art of Dialogue. I think they tap into, and uh, I, get, I don't know, but they tap into like Death Row and Death Row Records. And they do these interviews with these older people, right? Um, these artists. Something pops for you, but I feel like you need to make a decision or you need to kind of narrow it down to where you have the time. But it's something about L.A., um, the West Coast. It's something going on over there in that energy anyway. I'm not surprised that that's coming up in a toxic reading, death row. Uh, LA, especially, rest in peace, PNB Rock. Um, but it's a lot of stuff going on over there in that energy. And so for you to be able to enjoy your success or they want you to focus. So maybe not, maybe you need to relocate. Because maybe where you're not saying L.A. is a bad place to start your career, but um, that matter of fact, that's why a lot of people go to go to Hollywood. So maybe they're telling you to relocate. I'm not telling you to re relocate to, to L.A. to that shit. Calm down. That shit hot, ain't it? But hell, being realistic, you could be anywhere and anything happens to you. Like we live in, in a world where we can't go to the fucking grocery store or the movies or send our kids to school without some bullshit happening. You know what I'm saying? So, but so don't be afraid. If you need to make a decision, if you need to move on or whatever the case may be, if you need to relocate, if you don't quite know where, just ask. Ask spirit. Nine of swords in reverse because, or you might need to relocate out of your your current place or just don't give up it most importantly because I feel like it's this is kind of getting to you it's not your ideal situation either so why are you here for the moment <laughs> yeah because we're living in the present moment the sun because they needed you to see something they're trying to give you this happiness because you've been sad as fuck or there have there has been this depressive kind of energy that's that's slowly leaving but maybe you need to see somebody for who they were to the queen of coins in reverse but there's something that you needed to see something that you needed to witness and i'm hearing god as my witness so i feel like you're witnessing something that's something slightly short of a phenomenon Look at them. How they're staring at the sun. This is like one more. I'm sorry. The Ten of Cups. Huh. Oh, accompanied by the fucking Five of Cups. So the Ten and Five, that's Six of Cups energy. So that's giving me something from your past. It's finally paying off. All the effort and hard work that you. Right, slow and steady wins the race. It's a fucking snail on here. That snail is only going so fast. What's Gemini, Fairness, and Celtic? Page of Wands here in reverse. So I feel like it's it could be somebody's unwanted opinion. I can say that too because I think here Gemini... Uh, and I'm here in all fairness. I think that you, I feel like somebody is trying to force you to go along with, make up with, do something that you don't want to do. 
You have the Page of Wands here, but also the Tower. I'm hearing pop goes all around the morning. Bitch, the monkey chase the weasel. Some, 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 pop goes the weasel. Um, so somebody's playing a game. They want to be fair, but they peeking like, so, okay. This is a toxic friend. Okay, because like all these dogs here, to me, dogs symbolize his friends. Like, man's best friend. But look how this motherfucker's looking. And the rest of them down, got their head down, eating. It's kind of that energy of when you're in school, they tell you, don't look up. Don't be looking around because they're going to tell you cheating. So, a, a cheater? I can believe that because that's number 15, Capricorn energy. Oh. What's this page of wands in the tower? The ten of swords is in reverse. Okay. I don't necessarily like that. This is why. Because for me, the tower is supposed to come through and clean this shit out. Knock all this shit down, right? It ain't supposed to be in reverse. It's supposed to be upright to clear all of that shit out. But I feel like even though the tower is here, it's like something is still. So it's like the... The aftermath, it's like the cleanup or it's something that's just not over. So this could be like an on again, off again relationship. It could be like an old friendship too. What's after the Ten of Swords? The Knight of Swords in reverse. And then the Nine of Wands. Oh, I'm Knight of Cups. Ace of Swords. So you get the truth. That's what the fairness is. I don't have justice, but I definitely get the fairness. Like, I feel like somebody is trying to promise you. Like, they trying to finesse you. Like, they're lying. So they might have got caught, but they're doing everything that they can to savage something. Because I hear, cross my heart. Hope to die. Stick a needle in my eye. <laughs> okay, so maybe they're saying like... Like, I put this on my life. I put this on everything. I put this on, like, God. Like, don't be putting that shit on God. God ain't... Don't be putting that on him, okay? What's the present moment? Leaving or traveling? Page of Swords. So I feel like you get the opportunity. Yes, judgment. I kind of like this energy. So something that actually was a little small turned out to be a little big. And check, because check this out. Look at the energy of the Page of Swords. And then look at the energy of the judgment. So I'm definitely getting an energy of something big or something small turning into something much bigger than you thought, but not necessarily in a bad way. So maybe, so some of you guys might be going viral or some of you guys might be going on a trip. You're leaving. Uh, why am I hearing, um, is it Neo and, oh, what is her name? I want to say Megan Thee Stallion, but that's not it. Uh, but it's um leaving tonight. I'm not leaving tonight. Um, and then she, so she's saying I'm leaving. He's saying you're not leaving. Um, <laughs> he's not going nowhere, but somebody is leaving. Well, she said everyone said you ain't no good, but you chose them right. Okay. Mm. So here go this lever justice with judgment. Ah, mm. three of swords here in reverse. Okay, and I'm also hearing ain't no sense in trying to wait till the morning comes. I'm leaving tonight. Oh. Jennifer Hudson. <laughs> Took me a minute, but I got it. 
<laughs> okay, so Jennifer Hudson, Le Neo, leaving tonight. He's like, I'm not leaving. And she like, you leaving, bro. You packing up this shit. So somebody is leaving. And even if this has absolutely nothing to do with the relationship, this has a lot to do with you packing up. Maybe you going for something, like some type of job, some type of interview. Now, let's be honest, the Three of Swords here in reverse and the Six of Wands here in reverse, I feel like this. there may be somebody that's trying to hold you back. Look, look at that hand on that cup. You're like, I'm trying to live in the present moment. I'm trying to be free, but they won't allow you to be free. Oh, okay, y'all, I'm going over. Give me one more. The fool in reverse. Yes, they don't want you to have a fresh start. <sighs> They're trying to hold on to you. The Then you have the emperor here, and then you have the hierophant. So it could be a... Uh, a cusper, a, a Aries Taurus cusper. So just be careful because I feel like somebody has this like this gun in his hand, right? I feel like he like if I can't have you, nobody can. So just be careful with that. So I feel like somebody's just trying to leave. Yeah, and somebody doesn't want them to leave. The stars here in reverse. What's the baby? The five of wands, the eight of pentacles, and the five of wands. So whatever this new birth or this new situation is, it's actually going to cause a bit of drama. <laughs> I'm sorry to say. I feel like um, you're working towards something, but at the same time, something causes drama. Like it works for you. Yeah, it's like the devil in disguise. Look at that, the Ace of Cups here. With that Capricorn energy in reverse. Give me one more for criticism. Ten of Wands in reverse. Eight of Cups. Um... I'm hearing nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. So let me get you guys an oracle. And then I got to go. So I got to do one more reading. And then I'm done. I'm pulling from Love Your Inner Goddess. Give me one. I normally don't use these cards on my channel, but... What the heck? Okay. That is like two and three at a time. Just need one. Okay. Free spirit. Okay, somebody else got this card early. You have bright destiny on the bottom. So let's see. Free spirit. Twenty-two. Master number, it says, when we have an active imagination, we can forget to use it for our dreams and instead let it create nightmares. There's something that you've been worrying about. There's no need to torment yourself. Let go of any thoughts, attitudes, or beliefs that are based in fear. They are not helpful, necessary, or accurate. Everything for a positive and loving purpose, even if we cannot see or know what it is straight away. You'll find a loving solution comes to you easily and at the perfect time as you choose to avoid a fearful thinking. Let yourself be free to feel positive about your future and know that everything is going to be okay. So when somebody tries to stop you from this great opportunity that you know you, you deserve, don't even worry about them, okay? All right, you guys. So please like, share, comment, subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you have, you already know. We appreciate you. So until next time, y'all already know what it is. Holla at a play when you see me in the street, pimp. Bye.